Now, this is a Cleveland 19 News editorial. They return by the thousands every year for one day in early April. Fans decked out in red, white, and blue, swarming the streets of downtown to catch the Cleveland Indians home opener. Then, the crowds disappear, and they rarely come back. Why doesn't Cleveland get behind one of the legacy teams of Major League Baseball? The team's competitive. They're managed by Terry Francona, widely considered one of the best in the game. They have a Cy Young winning pitcher in Corey Kluber and a compelling mix of young and veteran players. But let's look at last season. Despite a slow start, the team was within striking distance of the playoffs well into September. Yet attendance at Progressive Field finished second worst in all of Major League Baseball with only the Tampa Bay Rays averaging lower. If you believe sports fans are bailing on baseball as a whole, guess again. Last season was the seventh highest for average attendance in MLB's long history. We've all heard the whole win and we're in argument. Fans who say that are still throwing down big money to watch the Browns, who since the team returned in 99, have only had two seasons over 500, the most recent in 2007. That's nine years ago. A game at Progressive Field still offers one of the best family bargains in Cleveland. The stadium has made vast improvements and offers something for everyone. We don't live in LA where fans come late, if at all, leave early, and show relative indifference. Cleveland has a great opportunity to be a baseball town again. Let's make it happen. I'm Dominic Mancuso. See you at the park on Monday. We encourage your response to this editorial. Email your response to editorial at cleveland19.com.